All right, welcome back everyone. It's Soha here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 unique gear guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the unique Hyperion shotgun, the Firecracker. So the red text of this weapon says, ooh, ah, plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 22%, 223% weapon damage, plus 46% weapon accuracy, plus 44% weapon shield capacity, consumes two ammo per shot, Weapon shield capacity is 7,503. Damage to the projected front-facing shield returns bullets to your magazine. Damage is 1,674 times 12. Accuracy 71%. Handling is 63%. Reload time is 2.7 seconds. Fire rate is 1.79 out a second with an 8 magazine size. In order to get this weapon, you're going to pick up uh, the quest Happily Ever After from Montgomery Jacobs. This is after you complete the main story for the... Uh, uh, guns love and tentacles dlc you have to complete the main story pick up this quest go do the quest it's just you have to go retrieve some fireworks for gauge set them up and then shoot them off now you're gonna see you have an option to shoot the fireworks in the shape of it says hearts or love and i'm not complete i haven't beat this on two characters yet so i don't know absolutely for sure if this impacts what your gun shoots or what gun you get but I chose hearts, as you can see right there. And you're going to see this weapon actually shoots hearts out. Now, I'm not sure if you choose love, maybe you get a different effect. I, in my opinion, I'm going to say no. But if you want to, you can choose the love option just to see. But in my opinion, it's going to be the same weapon no matter what. Now, as you're going to see here, whenever you shoot this weapon, it has like a huge like blast radius because it basically shoots out fireworks. And they like zoom around and then explode. So if you're shooting this weapon at range, it's not going to do that good. But get in close with this weapon. And this weapon destroys everything in its path. This weapon is one of, the, definitely in my opinion, right now, the best unique weapon in the game. In my opinion, all you got to, the only thing with it is you just have to get close with it. That's it. You get close with up with this weapon. So the shots don't just go flying everywhere, you know, you get in close so you can actually, uh, so all the shots just hit instead of just flying around everywhere. And this weapon wrecks absolutely everything. This weapon does fire damage. I'm about to fight two big enemies that resist fire and they are going to die with absolute ease, even though they resist the fire. It is absolutely crazy. You, you see them right here. And I'm even going to throw in some gr a Grave Ward kill here at the end. Now, unfortunately, on the Grave Ward kill, the only thing about it is you can't kill Grave Ward like, as fast as possible. Just because he actually um, he's out of range right when you start the fight and you first drop down. If you know what I'm talking about. Uh, like when my crit swapping with my Torx shotgun. You can kill him really quickly because as soon as you drop down right here, you can immediately start shooting his chest while he's tilting the floor. And by the time he tilts the floor back Let up, he's dead. Now with this weapon, he's out of range where you can't really hit him. You can do like minimal damage if you run up here right when he's tilting the table back. But wait till he slams his hand and you're going to see, and you get in real close to this weapon, you're going to see right here, it just wrecks him. And now once that, once you get through that first little bit of health, he's going to drop down and expose his face. And you're going to see the fight's literally over at this point. It is all over. He just gets melted. This weapon is one of my now favorite ones in the game. I'm loving this weapon. It's amazing. Definitely worth doing that, out, that little after party quest at the end after you beat the main story. Just to get this weapon. This weapon wrecks absolutely everything. Like I said, all you gotta do is get in real close with it, and you just wreck everything in your path. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.